Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Chris from Ghost Riders Paranormal. I'm back again today. Wanted to let you guys know a few things. Uh, also, later tonight, I will be doing a night vision recording here in the living room. This is where I captured an orb, or it doesn't even look like an orb. It looks like a light, like a little light that comes over goes down and then when it starts to go down it splits into three that's when I first got this video camera um, I had been speaking out loud to my mother the days prior to getting the camera telling her that I was getting it and asking if she could show me a sign asking her to please show me a light and that's exactly what was shown um, to make things more incredible, I've used this camera many times since, and only on two occasions have I captured anything that looked anything like that. So I will post a link to that video in the description, and I will also put a card up here in the corner. So all you have to do is click on that, and you can go watch that video. Um, another thing I was wanting to discuss is my theory um, two weeks ago or so I posted the theory about the Mandela effect um, my theory on what is going on why we are experiencing these things uh, it got overwhelmingly positive responses um, I want to apologize that the quality of the video wasn't great but I didn't expect many people to watch it so from here on out, I'm going to be using this camera until I can get a better one. This is a night vision camera, so during the daylight, like now, in low light, without a night vision light, it doesn't, it isn't the greatest, but it's the best camera I have for now. I'm also using this as the audio source, much better audio source, but in regards to that theory I wanted to thank you guys for the positive uh, response for all the comments all of the subscribers that subscribe to me thank all of you uh, I really do appreciate it the main goal that I've had this whole time I've been on YouTube is to have conversations about everything everything going on from the paranormal to the Mandela effect which is linked in my view and since that video and gaining so many great subscribers it's been an open communication and that is fantastic I love it one thing I was wanting to bring up about that theory is a couple days ago I was on Facebook and someone shared an article I do not remember the name of the lady that wrote this book but it says um, basically I'll show you right here I'll give you the link to the article uh, but she is saying exactly what I said almost to a T almost exactly what I said that when you die your consciousness moves to another reality except she she says it as moves to another universe in my opinion, realities, universes, they're all the same. Dimensions, it's really, in my view, it's all the same. There's multiple realities, multiple dimensions, multiple universes layered on each other. It just felt great seeing someone else not only think the same thing, but write a book and have it published. And supposedly she's saying that there's scientific proof that this is going on. So, let me brag a little bit that I feel like a genius. <laughs> I'm joking, but uh, also about the dragonfly. You guys remember me telling you about my mom's painting of the dragonfly vase, and then a year later after she had died, I went and was getting flowers for my girlfriend when she uh, gave birth to Noah. The only vase they had in this little store was this one has dragonflies on it they look almost identical to her painting um, a lot of you have been telling me that dragonflies 
there's something to do with them, like with this Mandela effect, and supposedly they can go into different dimensions and realities. But another thing I was wanting to show you is over this past year, we have gotten many objects that people just give us. Her mom, out of nowhere, not knowing that these dragonflies have any significance to me, gave us this. Dragonflies on it. Someone at work said, I was telling them how it's hard for us to keep up with bills. We always lose them and stuff. So they said, I got this little box I'll give you. They bring us this. Dragonfly. 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 Okay? I mean, and someone else gave us this. It's a little wind chime. Dragonfly. All of this within the past year. I'm pretty sure that there is more stuff in here that has dragonflies on it that we've been given this past year that I'm not thinking of right now. You know, there is something going on, but we just need to keep calm and carry on. That's all we need to do. Don't be scared. I believe that this is a positive thing. Those of us who are noticing these changes, whatever happened, if we did die and wake up in another reality, our brain, our mind, our consciousness has been elevated. We have ascended, and that's good. We are no longer asleep. We are no longer sheep. We can now see things for what they are. And that is a gift in itself. If anyone ever asks, do you have any special gifts? Yes. The greatest gift you can be given. The gift of thought. Unrestricted thought. We are able to think for ourselves. We are able to see the truth. And that is fantastic. So anyways, thank all of you. Thank you for subscribing. Seriously, it means the world to me. Hopefully you guys stick around and continue to comment and continue to have these conversations. I absolutely love them. Um, I'm going to ask a question to see what you guys think. Out of all of the Mandela effects that are going on, all of the changes, which one is the one that shakes you to the core? For me, it's the Lindbergh baby, Charles Lindbergh, because I know a billion percent in my reality that I was in that that baby was not found, that the killer or who took the baby was not found, and now that has changed. So to me, that's the one that shakes me straight to the core. I was wondering which one really affects you the most. It's kind of funny that it's called the Mandela effect because this really does affect us. It changes us. Once we really have one that for me is the Lindbergh baby that we know positively has changed. It changes us. It changes the way we think. It lets us know that truly anything is possible. Anything. Like we could wake up a couple weeks from now and Tupac Shakur could be back coming out with an album. And they would just play it off as, oh, he did fake his death. He has been hiding in Cuba this whole time. It could happen. So Please, in the comments, let me know which one of the Mandela effects truly gets to you. Um, and be on the lookout tonight for the night vision video. I'm going to meditate before the video, and I'm going to ask them to please show me any visual proof. 
Um, I'm also going to ask questions about the Mandela effect. I'm going to ask them what they mean when they say that I died or we died. Because again, they have told me that many times. I always heard that and I was like, well, they're confused. They think they're alive and they think that I'm the ghost. Anyways, keep calm, carry on, keep your mind open, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.